Hello there. I hope you and yours are well. This is a channel update for December as well as January. Let's get on with it. In case you've forgotten, my name is Grimoth. Sometimes I play video games. Occasionally I even record or broadcast myself playing those video games. How the fuck about that? In December, I tackled uh, Battle Realms as well as Grim Fandango. Didn't play much of Grim Fandango. I left that with really positive feelings. I toyed with the idea of resuming the playthrough, and it just didn't happen. Got absorbed by other things. Holidays, other video games, as one does. I'm not saying it'll never happen again, though. The Adventures of Manny uh, were pretty delightful. Just despite how I've excelled in uh, adventure games I have recorded over the years, it's it's not a passion of mine. Uh, Battle Realms didn't leave that game on a good note. Just not for me. I uh, I delivered thorough criticism of that video game over the course of it, and I can't see myself ever going back to that one. Uh, with Mysterious JG and Lethal Feline, we pursued and completed Castle Crashers. Didn't do Brutal Mode. There just wasn't enough interest in that. Uh, Broadcast-wise, uh, there was Revisiting Romance of the Three Kingdoms 6. And uh, transitioning into uh, January. Uh, with some Let's Get On The Live content, we've got Late Shift, which was a full, a full motion video game. Full motion video video game that I wouldn't recommend to anyone. The, like, production values, solid. Good, really. The, the acting, that's solid. The story, uh, questionable. <laughs> Tolerable. The actual, like, user experience, like, the design of the game itself unacceptable just wouldn't recommend it to anyone it held up with one run but the later shift now intolerable <laughs> i just really like don't have a recommendation for that gladiator manager which i broadcasted uh mostly positive uh the there's been a final update for the video game. The dev has noted that they're done with Gladiator Manager. The game just doesn't have a whole lot to it. You've got the the battles, which drag on and I. I wrote, like, more comprehensive notes uh, in the video description of the final episode. Uh, but the game could play itself with, like, quick sim stuff. And then you have the management aspect of the video game, which is very shallow. There's plenty of other Gladiator Manager sims uh, which go more in-depth into the management aspect. Just very... It's a shallow game. A lot of effort's been put into the, the battle stuff, which drags on a while. At least how I experience the video game. We've got Thousand Year Old Vampire, which I will not spoil any details for how that adventure is going. It's been very thorough. It has been a journaling game which has plotted along. I've ventured into those over the years. Not something I record, though. I'll have my thoughts for that. Uh at the end of the series. Uh, how I think and feel about Thousand Year Old Vampire, whether I would recommend it to anyone, I'll keep that there. And I have started uploading and publishing a Wrestling Empire, which is the latest venture of M. Dickey. M. Dickey, who has decades of gaming experience, has several other wrestling games under his belt, branched out into mobile gaming to revitalize himself. Wrestling Empire itself is a Nintendo Switch game which was ported to PC through Steam. Uh, it shows in the, like, the user experience, not just with, like, with the design, but how the game itself functions. And, um, 
love-hate would be my attitude towards it. Uh, there are things the game does that I just can't get from another video game. And there are things the game does that make me uninstall it during the broadcast. And then reinstall it and relaunch the game during the same broadcast. Uh, that, is, that, that continues. I just finished up a recent broadcast of the game and... How recent? Uh, well, it started seven hours ago, and it went five hours in length. I just... I was just fucking... <laughs> That's been the, the sum of what has transpired over the past couple of months, if you somehow missed anything, and my thoughts on that. As for what's coming up next month, uh, I expect more Wrestling Empire which I am broadcasting and transitioning over to YouTube. Uh, local recording-wise, I just recalled like 10 hours ago that I was doing something called Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch, and I was like, yeah! Yeah, there's a bit more to that video game, and I took a pause on that because I wasn't in the mood for it because the, like, the last experience left a rough taste in my mouth, and... All the other video games have been trying and sampling and just other business that has happened to me over the months. I fucking forgot about the video game. <laughs> so I'll see about getting that concluded in February. That's the month that's coming next. February, man. Look at, look at these things that I was doing. Yeah. When I was uh, publishing, like older broadcast that I had uh, been squatting on for a while. Mercenary Kings. God, that fucking sucked. That, what, a, what a fucking... That was the 11-year anniversary. We're coming up on 12 years of this. I did my small taste of Deep Rock Galactic. Yeah. And uh, when I ended up doing a... throwing up a few sessions of the uh, Dungeon Dragons 4th Edition plus Rain, Dreads of the Dragon Coast campaign. Uh, I haven't needed to uh, be the backup recorder slash broadcaster for that. I Those videos uh, went public, but I didn't like have them pushed to subscription feeds, because that's not an ongoing series for this YouTube channel. Uh, that series is actually continuing. Uh, that is a campaign that's gone on damn near three years now. I'll provide a link to where you can see the latest sessions of that in the video description. Uh, the dragons are level 23. Um, and continuing to persist and perhaps resolving their situations. We've got a fight with an astral kraken coming up. I've got an elder dire bulet as a pet. Uh, another player has uh, a beholder as a minion. Yeah, it's, it's been good times. <laughs> right, so what else would be coming up? Uh, something that I may end up transitioning to the YouTube channel, and I don't know yet, uh, has been a JRPG dungeon crawler I would highly recommend. It's called Labyrinth of Toho, Ginsokyo, and the Heaven-Piercing Tree. It's a... Um, a remake of Labyrinth of Toho 2 that said, like, quality of life update stuff. I know very little about Toho, but I've been in the mood for a dungeon crawling experience. The game is well made. It plays very well. Uh, deeply respectful of the player's time. I just haven't decided, like, when or if I would transition this to YouTube. And one of the reasons it's been holding back is that I don't want, like, a bunch of feedback for the game. I haven't experienced it before. I don't want strategic tips or things I might miss. It's been a process of discovery. I would highly recommend the game, though, if you're into dungeon crawl and stuff. You don't even need to be in the Toho shit. For stuff that's going to be locally recorded, it is going to be um, Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch, finishing that for sure. And something else from the Rewarding the Rewarders list. It's very slim. Uh, there is an archive of what remains on the list. I will put what remains on the list in the video description. Not that many titles left. I'll pick something from that list. Yeah. That about does it. 
It's probably not going to be Startopia or Temple of Elemental Evil. Uh, I did try to get those situated and recorded properly like a year and a half ago, and those fucking things frustrated me. <laughs> it just consumed so much time. I wasn't satisfied by the captures. In case of Temple of Elemental Evil, it had problems with like font sizes. I have accessibility issues with my eyes, and rest assured, those have not gotten better. Uh, they have <laughs> very much so deteriorated in quality. It has been rough. I have uh, lost a great deal of night vision. It's not good. I, uh, I'm becoming more like uh, how I remember uh, older people were. Uh, like showing stuff to like my dad and like his friends uh, when they're like sitting around the kitchen table drinking. Or, or I might be asked to read something that's in tiny print because it's too dark in the room. But my eyes were still strong enough that I could read just fine. Yeah, I'm now in the situation where uh, my eyes have deteriorated such that just need more light for the receptors. They're still functioning in my eyes. Woohoo! There's other horrible shit, but uh, we're here for escapism, dear viewer. I gotta go into that shit. Woo! There are other folks who have been undergoing all manners of hell, too. We also won't get into that. Escapism. Remember that. Grimoth is here to pretend like he's taking care of you, but secretly it's a ploy for you to give corporate Grimoth your money. Okay, more on that in a bit. <laughs> right, so if you're interested in catching broadcasts, I so seldom uh, put notifications for those on YouTube anymore. I can't remember the last time I have. Uh, you can catch them at twitch.tv slash Grimoth. I have Mercurial start times. Just as what it is. I do make announcements uh, through Discord. I have like a separate channel where I push notifications to a separate Discord rule. I boot people if they're into that. I don't really even like notify over Twitter anymore. I don't really even do a whole lot of anything through this social media platform. Every now and then I share a thing. Like this current mood from Cyberpunk 2077. Because I was playing that video game. Haven't gotten too far into that. But I did pick it up, uh, and I do like it. But there's stuff there, and there are other video games. It's a big reason why I wasn't in a rush to buy the game. Is that in, uh... Other features and qualities about the video game. I did enjoy installing the video game and being in the opening cutscene and seeing V and Jackie T pose float through Night City. Premium quality. <laughs> I've been trying out some other video games to see whether they're suitable for recording or broadcasting, and I haven't found anything that really fits the niche for me. Uh, it's either going to be games that I'm going to need to continue to explore before I make up my mind. Or games have just been like, nah, it's not really it. So, nothing I can confirm for what I'll be doing other recordings or broadcasts of in the future. Wouldn't want to build false expectations. That does that. That takes care of biz as well as how I'm personally doing. Uh, if you want a general overview of that, I'm not. I'm not well. In some ways, I'm better than I've ever been. Mentally. Yeah. There used to be a thing in my about section uh, where uh, I would note that uh, perhaps one day I'll be satisfied with myself and I've, I've done things that have like, yeah, you've done well. You've evolved. You've grown as a person, much as you hate learning, being dragged, kicking and screaming, molded opinions. Sued rages in some ways. Different insights. Those are good. Physically! <laughs> it's not good. But I'm here! And that's more than uh, quite a number of people can say, including friends and loved ones. A grandson of my mom's boyfriend uh, found a teenager found naked in a field uh, 
having eaten a direct shotgun blast, um, murdered, would be an example of that. Said wasn't going to get into that. Said this was about escapism. Here we are, viewers. How about we awkwardly and yet seamlessly transition into what we're really here for? <coughs> As I cough up a popcorn kernel, <laughs> it's money. Corporate Grimoth wants your money because he always wants your money. Remember when Corporate Grimoth was sending postcards to people? There used to be like a, a postcard goal. It was the $10 goal. The update video insult was the $25 goal. But then like his, the, the, the city, the county, like, uh, well, was like, hey, could you just only send essential mail? This was like when the pandemic picked up. Uh, things have changed around here in the two years since, of course. Yet I haven't brought back postcards. I still got a bunch of stamps and postcards, too. I could do that, but... That sounds like effort. God. I'm lazy. I don't want to be dragged into that. Like, five, four ways? Like, no, 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 no. Minimal effort to get people's money. That's what we're doing here. We're clearing baby hurdles. If I can lift my lengthy leg on the six-foot frame... Over the hurdle, and then uh, gently move the size 15 shoe bearing leg across it. Uh, then we're doing good. I got uh, some insult shout outs, which are, you know, they're really shout outs to deliver for both December and January as we are swiftly approaching February. I gotta transition us off the screen though. I wouldn't wanna blind you, viewer, if you're like watching the screen for whatever fucking reason. Not that I've done much of anything. Uh, I've become more photosensitive, uh, as with my eye degeneration as well. That's been great. So, let's just, uh, ha-cha. There we go! We have... Applejack, Vic is a bad shot, Dark Herein, Chris Van Beers, Pork and Beans, Zachary McKinley, Ab Horson, Kaylin, Mog, Necro Lotu, Perpentok, Tiny Shopkeeper, Dark, Dawnstar, Alexi, Zalo, Zorin, No One, Alowin, Arthresh, Azor, Rain, Branded, Schneider, Cast, Iron Dude, Corbin, Crazy MLC, Eric Adams, Eroding Sun, Green, Doom God, Industrial Robot, Inferno, Just Jim, Luke Budkus, Maxwell Damage, Nick King, Nexus Nemesis, Otaku Shout, who my friend Dan I met back in December of 2016 when I first tried Beam, and he was a new broadcaster, and he was doing a lot of, like, relaxing wrestling stuff, making wrestlers for viewers. Um, he, he has grown, and he has evolved, and he's living a different life now. He doesn't even watch my stuff. He doesn't have much time to, like, play video games. Certainly he doesn't really boot the computer. When he plays video games, it's all, like, console stuff. He and Sophie are both doing incredibly well. It's bittersweet. I'm... I'm so delighted for him to have found his way and made peace with a lot of things. And to be doing well and looking for a new home, but I miss my friend. Patrick, Putero, Smooth Move, Sothacall, Trash Panda 420, Who, and William Melbourne. For this month, payments that are just right, which I guess would barely be for that. Hmm. 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 But, I mean, wouldn't you have to... No, we got... It, hmm. Hmm. It's the same list. Did you... But do you... Did you forget how, like, the, the Patreon relationship manager works? That's a, that's a, be a shame. Like, Corporate Grimoth, that would be, like... Applejack, Vic is a bad shot, Darker, and Chris Van Beers, Pork and Beans, Zachary McKinley, Abhorson, Kalen Mog, Necro Lotu, Perpentog, Tiny Shopkeeper, Dark Dawnstar, Alexi Zalo, Zorin, No One, Alowin, Arthresh, Azor Rain, Brandon Schneider, Cast Iron Dude, Corbin, Crazy MLC, Eric Adams, Eroding Sun, Green Doom Guy, Industrial Robot, Inferno 308, Just Jim, Luke Budkus, Maxwell Damage, Nick King, Nexus Nemesis, Otaku Shout, Patrick, Putero, Smooth Move, Self the Call, Trash Panda 420, who William Melbourne. One moment. On the off chance that I have somehow misplaced my understanding of how this relationship manager works. Let's uh, read back the prior month. We're going to cover all of our bases, make sure no one's left out gently, massage everything. 
Applejack, Vig is a Bad Shot, Dark Heron, Chris Van Beers, Pork and Beans, Zachary McKinley, at Porson, Kaylin, Mog, Necrolotu, Talk, Tiny Shopkeeper, Dark Dawnstar, Lexi Zalu, Zorin, No One, Alwyn, Arthresh, Zorain, Brandon Schneider, Cast Iron Dude, Corbin, Crazy MLC, Eric Adams, Eroding Sun Green, Doom Guy, Industrial Robot, Inferno 308, Just Jim, Luke Butkus, uh, Maxwell Damage, Nick King, Nexus Nemesis, Otaku Shout, Patrick, Putero, Smooth Move, Sotha Call, Trash Panda 420, Who, William Melbourne. Good. That's everyone. Great. Glad. Yes. Happy times. Service remembers how to take your money, chat room. Chat room? Fuck, man. <laughs> lethal. <laughs> lethal made fun of me. <laughs> We're testing out uh, a new game, the three of us, Mysterious JD, Lethal V-Light, and I, uh, to push to the channel next. And that's something I didn't mention for what's going to be coming up for local recordings. Uh, we tried it out in November of 2020, and it just didn't fit us well at the time. Uh, we tried it out again this past Wednesday, and it worked out pretty well, and we're going to start recording that this upcoming Wednesday. But during the time, I just, like, made, like, a quip, like, look at this chat room, and Lethal was like, what, what do you mean chat room? <laughs> it is, uh, something I start saying aloud while I broadcast, and apparently it's also, like, taking up space in my head when I am recording or when I'm not recording and just talking out loud. Terribly transformative language and how it impacts your brain. Oh. I suppose I should probably edit my links. There's not a let's go that live mixer backup anymore. I just noticed this. I'm realizing this in real time. Well, Maybe I'll do that. That's but that's it. It's a pretty good update. Feel like we covered all of our bases. We didn't cover all of our bases. Uh, be well, everyone. Do good deeds or bad. Maybe you don't want to be well. I, you know, that's not my call to make. I'm just out here capturing stuff, recording my thoughts. They're really good thoughts, huh? And uh, yeah, great fun. Look forward to February. <laughs> Farewell, friends.